What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to pick up right where we left off in the last episode, and that is welding up this area of the wheelhouse where we made our relief cuts so that the quarter panel would fit on. So let's jump into it. Alright, so with those tacked in place, before I do any more welding, I'm going to make sure that the quarter panel will fit on with everything in that position. We got the quarter panel on, everything is fitting the way that it should. Right here is that area that I said we had problems, I've got to fix that. But the lines are all lining up the way that they should. Bring the door over and that is all hunky dory. So we can pop this quarter panel off and finish the welding on the wheelhouse. We are good to go. All right, we got that one finished up. Came together all right. I think I might spray paint this, get paint on this, um, and then grind down under here and put weld through primer on under here. I wanna get this protected. Welding repairs like that always take longer than what I anticipate. <clears throat> There's a lot of tiny little spot welds you gotta make and Take your time otherwise you're gonna burn through and just it always eats up way more time than i anticipate but whenever you finish it up and it looks all right makes it feel good all right i'm doing some busy work here so i wasn't really filming the process but i do want to show you guys a few things first off what i'm doing is going around and drilling out all the spot well holes and Rather than doing what I did last time where I marked everything then took the panel off and then drilled all the holes with the panel off, I'm at least going through and I did all the punching while the panel was on the car so it had some stiff backing and then I hit everything with the smaller drill bit to get a good dip and then I'll pull this off and that'll make drilling out the actual holes much easier once the panel is off the car. Um, this area here So I need to fill this and what I did was just threw some tape on and trace it out and that will give me a reference I'm just gonna use this as a template to cut that section out of uh, a leftover piece from this quarter panel um, I got to remember to drill my holes on this filler panel here and There's a little section here. That's um, having some problems overlapping so I need to come in and cut out from about here to here So I still got to mark this other side with tape Okay guys, I think we're ready to weld this thing in I spent yesterday evening drilling all my holes Making sure everything was lined up. We got weld through primer on the other side on all the surfaces marked everything took it off and then I actually removed the weld through primer from the areas I'm going to be welding because I use this sink weld and it's not very good and I've had people comment and tell me that no the zinc stuff is not very good so that should save me 
um, a decent amount of time because I fought with that a good bit whenever I was welding on the driver's side quarter panel. Everything lines up pretty good. So I'm happy with all of my lines. <clears throat> So everything's lining up. This top part here will get bent, pushed down just a little bit whenever that gets welded in. And these are my lines. So everything looks pretty good. I'm not going to weld this section right here yet down to about right there because I want to have some play in here. Uh, Robert Adams recommended that I wait until I start fitting on my rear valence panel to make sure everything lines up and that'll give me not welding those will give me a little bit of wiggle room so I am gonna hold off on that for now but <clears throat> as far as everything else is concerned she's ready to go so we're gonna get to it one more thing I wanted to point out that I did that I did not do on the driver's side this area right in here where the lead was gave me problems and if you look I don't know if you can see it in the camera it's probably really hard where the lead was right here there's no lead here there's lead in along here it has like a different kind of tone to it so I made sure I came along this edge with my grinder and I didn't want to remove much material so I was careful but I tried to remove the sheen of the lead so that I was not welding to contaminated metal. So hopefully that helps. And then the welding settings I'm going to start out on. I think I'm actually going to go high one and up my wire speed to like nine or eight and a half. And I'll probably start out doing a weld somewhere like probably start out in here try getting this stuff welded in. We'll see how it goes. That's, those settings are pretty good. <clears throat> that was almost spot on. I think what I need to do is, once I get that hot, move out quickly to prevent that from building up I'm gonna have to get my exhaust going too because <clears throat> by the end of an evening when you're done welding in a quarter panel it's the garage is smoking pretty good there you have it it's a pretty decent weld so uh, we're gonna give that a go I'm happy with those settings. I'm gonna try those for now and see, see how it gets us. But I can tell you right now, not having to deal with that weld through primer is a huge help. And some of you guys might have asked or been thinking, well, why are you even putting the weld through primer on if you're just removing it? I'm only, I only removed it in the areas right where the holes were as best I could. Um, if this were paint behind here, from my experience, the heat would cause that to, to bubble and peel where this weld through primer, I think, I believe it gets kind of gooey and seal stuff. So I, I think you're still better off having the weld through primer in these areas and not on the bare metal. If you had good weld through primer, from my understanding, you'd be able to weld right through it. So next time I get a can of weld through primer, I'll be sure to invest a little bit more money and get something good. I turned that wire speed down just a tiny bit. See my Femic tractor? It's working all right too. I mean, it's not the best, but it definitely sucks up probably 75% of the fumes. So that helps. and here are the welds so far um see i turned down my wire speed because i was getting these little build-ups right on the end 
and that seems to be helping. So. Obviously that one was a wee bit hot. To fix it, I'm gonna turn up my wire speed before I try going down on my heat. Mm, that's just making a mess. I'm gonna see if I can get a good one up here with a higher wire speed. Mm, that's not good. I'm gonna have to get a lower heat, I think, and try this. I'm not convinced on that either. I'll get it figured out. Definitely my, my welding at this stage of the game definitely requires in-game adjustments. I just haven't, I haven't figured it out. Sometimes I swear the welder is just different depending on the night, I don't know, but I'm just gonna keep taking it slowly and trying to get the thing adjusted so I don't have too much cleaning up to do. I'm turning my wire speed up just a little bit. Yeah, that helped. I've said this before, but someone pointed out to me, sometimes when you're burning through, it's your wire speed is not fast enough. Not that your heat setting is too high because it's just burning that wire at such a fast rate that the wire can't fill it. So if you turn up your wire speed, sometimes you have better luck. And I have found that to be the case. So here's what they're looking like. This is with the lower wire speed. You can see how it's burning through I was having trouble um filling i didn't change the heat setting i upped my wire speed and now i'm getting a nice little pull right there so i'm definitely no expert but i've had a lot of experts give me tips so <clears throat> i'm definitely still getting it figured out but not nearly as intimidated by it as what i used to be Okay, first round of welding is done. And I'm happy with it. Something I did a little different in this area as opposed to last time is I made sure um, I got little spot weld, stitch welds, whatever you want to call it, the whole way through before I come along with the grinder. Uh, before I grind this, I wanted to have much as much metal in this area as possible because I don't know how 
thin, I ground these two layers before welding them together. And I just want to build it up as strong as possible before removing material. I kind of suspected I was going to end up doing this. This might not have been the best decision, but anytime I see gaps, I just, I want to try to fill them with weld. I don't know. I can say that I want to do it to challenge myself, but I'd be lying if I was denied the fact that part of it's laziness. I don't like having to cut little pieces of sheet metal out and stick it in there and weld it. I just want to see if I can bridge the gap real quick with some spot welds and then heat it down in with a good long weld. Um, you can see it's bubbled up. So when I remove this, grind this down, there might not actually be much metal between this gap. I don't know. I might have made this area a lot harder to deal with, but I'm stubborn. And sometimes I guess, I, I hate to use the word lazy because I'm not lazy, but sometimes I can act lazy. And I like a challenge, so we'll see. But time to grind this down, see how this area looks. Uh, all these welds came out good. The welds all up and along here uh, turned out good. And then I did do, I got the, I did these welds right in here. I didn't weld this stuff down in here yet. I did do that well. That well's ugly, don't look at that. But I didn't do the stuff down there yet. So time to start grinding and see how I did with this area in here. Okay, we got our first round of grinding done. Everything looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. Uh, before I show you guys how it turned out, um, I wanted to give another shout out to Barry from Joe Daddy's Garage. He sent me these welding gloves. These things are amazing. They're far better than the ones that I was previously using. I'm sure most likely you can download them from his Amazon page if you go to his channel and I'm assuming he has a link there. And which brings me to my next thing. Um, I just finished welding in the second quarter panel. And it was probably about two years ago that I first found Barry from Joe Daddy's Garage on YouTube, which is what inspired me to take on a project like this to begin with, because he just puts videos out there that are so detailed and so informative on how to do stuff like this that it just gives you a real boost of uh, motivation, encouragement, and maybe even bravery. I don't know. But I say it all the time, but if you're not familiar with his channel, go check it out. It is Joe Daddy's Garage, and it is the reason why I have this car in my garage. A huge thank you to him. He has done us all a great service putting the content that he puts up on his channel. So huge, huge shout out to him. He's awesome. So here's how the grinding looks. There's still more grinding to be done in here. Um, I don't know how how smooth I need to grind this either because the, the lead filler is actually up in this area. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to feather down over this some with filler. I'll figure that out whenever that we get there. Here's how the lines all line up. I did grind down some of these, but like I said, there's still plenty of grinding to be done. Um, the wheel well area turned out really good. That's all done. And I did do the welds in here. I have the, the trunk lid shut with all this stuff on it, so I'm not going to show you that. Um, well, in the next video. But I'm trying to get this video up. For Friday, which is tomorrow, so I haven't edited any of this, so it's almost 9 o'clock. It is 9 o'clock. I'm going to zip in and try to get this done so I can get this up for you guys to see. Hopefully in the next episode, the underside will be coated in POR15. The rear end will be back installed on the car, and I can drop it down. I don't know. I haven't done these welds yet down in here, so I don't know if dropping it down on the frame is going to affect this. I hope not. You leave 
comments on in the comments um, if you think it's a bad idea I don't know what I'm gonna do yet I really want to get this thing back on all fours so that's a huge victory super excited about it I'm gonna sleep good tonight and uh, yeah I can't wait to get rolling on the next video I appreciate all of you you guys are awesome I uh, can't thank you enough to all of you that have helped me get this far so until the next episode guys stay driven